Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So today we're going to take a look at proxying the newest versions of Android. As of Android 7, quite a while ago, they changed the way in which you proxy. And this question pops up often when I'm doing pen testing with newer testers. How do I proxy this because the old way is not working? So we're going to cover that in this video. You'll see here I have Jenny Motion in front of me. We're going to use Jenny Motion for our Android emulator. But first, we're going to take a root certificate from Burp. We're going to change the format. We're going to upload it to the device, and we're going to make sure we can actually proxy. So first, let's install Jenny Motion. You can easily install Jenny Motion by going to the Jenny Motion website. So I have my browser open here. I'm using a Mac in this demo, so I would download that version. I would also need VirtuaBox because it uses VirtuaBox for its actual functionality. And I need a specific version. So if I search this version on Google, what I will find is a Olds Builds website for VirtualBox. On this site, I can download whichever version is for my operating system. So I'll want to download this, install VirtualBox, go back to Jenny Motion, install Jenny Motion. Once that's all done, I should launch Jenny Motion, and I'll have it on my screen just like this, except you won't have a device already set up. So what we're gonna do is hit the plus sign. Once we hit the plus sign, we can choose the newest version of the Android. So here we're gonna use a Samsung Galaxy S10 with the API 29 version 10, which is the newest at this point. We'll hit install. This will take a little bit of time when you first do it because we have to download the SDK and actually install it. For me, I just have to install it. I already have it downloaded. So from here, we can just hit start, but I'm gonna X this off and I'm actually going to switch this to the bridge mode for the networking. So if I scroll down and hit bridge, confirm I have my right interface for the internet. I'm good to go with the EN0, so I'll hit confirm. And now we can start this up by just double clicking it. This will take a minute to boot, so I will fast forward the video. Now that it's launched, let's go into the settings and we'll actually change the proxy information the same way we normally would do, but we'll notice we'll run into a problem. So as I click into the Wi-Fi settings, in advance, I'll need to add my proxy information, which I can get from my Burp proxy. So let's open that up. Once we open up Burp, let's go to the proxy tab. You'll notice it's on a 127001 address. Since this is a device talking to Burp on the network and it's not on our computer technically, I'm going to need to use my main network address, which is going to be that 8685. So I'll select OK. And then within Jenny Motion, I'm going to put my 85, or actually 8685 address with the 8080 port. And once I hit save, we're gonna open up a web browser. Now, usually in the old Android, if we browse to something without the certificate installed, it would just tell us, hey, do you wanna accept that? So here we'll say google.com and it goes from HTTP to HTTPS, but it actually just fails. It doesn't give us a prompt or anything. If we look in Burp under our dashboard, you'll see that we get a client certificate negotiation failed for TLS on google.com. So that's an issue. Um, so next we would try usually to install the Burp certificate by going to the Burp website, which I believe they've changed this. I'm using an older version of Burp here. It might be something else now, but same process. Um, CA certificate, it's not even working when I click it, so there's an issue there. But what we actually need to do is install the root certificate from Burp on the newer versions of Android. So let's do that by opening up the command prompt. But first I'll need to actually grab the certificate and I can do that in Burp. So under the proxy tab, we'll go to import export certificate 
and we want to do that in DER format. So we'll select that, we'll hit next, and now we're going to create the file. I'm just going to name it cacert.der. And once I save that to the Android testing directory I made, it'll say successfully exported. Perfect. Now I'll need to open up my command prompt. Within the command prompt, we're going to use OpenSSL to change the format from DER to PEM. So we can do that with the X509, and we're going to say our inform is DER, and our in file is going to be that cacert.der we exported from burp. And our out is going to be the cacert.pem. So that successfully worked. You'll see we have a cacert.pem, a cacert.dir. Perfect. Now we need to run one more OpenSSL command in order to grab the hash of the certificate subject name. So we'll do that again with x509. This time our in form is going to be pem because we're using our pem file we created. And we're going to use this subject hash old, which grabs that hash of the certificate subject name. We're going to say our in file is the cacert.pem file. And then we're just going to use head to grab that. So we'll pipe that through head. And we'll see the hash value there. So let's copy that. And now what we're going to do is just move the pem file to a new file name with a .0 extension. You'll see that when we're looking at the Android device, it's just the format that they use for these files. So we'll change it to the hash with a .0 extension. So if we do an ls, we'll see our file there. I'm just gonna copy this. And now we're gonna use the Android debug bridge in order to put this file on the device so that we have the root certificate on the device and we can proxy. So first we'll check the devices with the ADB devices. We'll see our device there. Now we'll push the file. Let's put it into our SD card. So we'll say Android push, the name of the file, and then we'll just put our directory name, which is going to be slash SD card slash. Looks like that worked successfully. So now let's hop into a shell. And what we're going to do is move this from the SD card into the proper directory within the Etsy directory. So we'll say move SD card, the name of our file, and we'll say system, Etsy, security, and that's going to be in the CA cert directory. Looks like we have a read-only file system, so that's pretty easy to get by. We just have to remount, so we'll hop out of our shell with exit. And then all we need to do is do a ADB remount. And then we can hop right back into our shell and get to work. So now let's run that move command again. So we're just going to move it from the SD card, the file we created, into that Etsy security CA cert directory. Except this time we shouldn't have any issues with the read only operating system. So we'll do that. We didn't get an error. We should be good to go, but we do need to change the permissions on it. So we use typical Linux commands, chmod, and the permissions you're going to need are 644. So we'll do that on the system, etsy security, ca certs, and then our file. And one thing you'll notice in here is, like I said before, that's the format of the certificate, that .0. So we'll do it on ours, and we should be good to go from there in order to proxy, because now we have the root certificate in the correct place. So now let's do a quick reboot in order to make those settings take place. I fast forwarded to my phone already rebooted, so you don't have to wait and watch that. And now I'm going to check and make sure that the certificate installed properly. So I'll go into my settings and I'll search for trusted, and you'll see a trusted credentials if we click that. And we scroll all the way down, we're going to be looking for that port swigger. And I 
just saw it. Yep, there it is. So that's our port swigger certificate. We're now installed. We should be good to go and we shouldn't get any errors on the browser. Before we actually try that, let's double check our proxy settings and make sure they're still good to go. So we'll hop into the settings and the Wi-Fi and advance just like we did before. And hit that pencil icon and we'll see, yep, we have 8685, so that should go right to our burp proxy. And now let's open up a browser and let's go back to google.com and see what happens. Hit enter. You'll see the redirect and we actually get google.com. Perfect. You'll also notice it's in Spanish because I'm on the island of Puerto Rico right now. So you might hear chickens in the background. And if we check our HTTP history, you will actually see it all going through there. If we check the responses and the requests, everything should be good to go. And now, additionally, if we were performing a pen test, we might use ADB again and just install an application right from the command line. So I'm going to show that real quick. I'm not actually quite sure what that AVABS4 is. I think it's some kind of vulnerable Android something or other. But I wanted to show you how to install your application. And then once you see it in here, you should be good to go to actually proxy that now. So hopefully you learned something from this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with other people, and leave a comment below because that's a free way to support the channel by leaving your comment. Helps the algorithm, helps me out and I'll get more videos out to you. So thanks for watching.